The first family was enumerated by a delegation of the Namibia Statistics Agency, the NSA, at their residence in Winterk on Tuesday. The NSA management team that participated in the exercise included the Statistician General, who is also the CEO, Alex Shimwafeni, accompanied by his deputy, Otili Mwazi, and the board chairperson, Salomo Hay. Mwazi explained the importance of the census reference night to the first couple. The census reference night, in fact, is, a, is like a point of reference, uh, whereby we need to ensure that it's like a snapshot. We are going to say in Namibia, on the night of the 24th to the morning of the 25th, there were so many Namibians, or there were so many uh, visitors who were visiting us, because during the census we count everyone, regardless of whether Namibian or not Namibian. A lot of people, they always ask, why we count non-Namibians? In fact, I always explain to say that when they are in Namibia, they are using our services. Mm. The schools, the hospitals. Mm. Look at the diplomats. They are here. Some of them are assigned to Namibia for three years, for four years. All that time, they are using our services. So that's why we also count everyone, whether you are just visiting for a short period. And then that normally, then we, we another approach is what we call the de facto approach. The de facto approach only count the people who slept were in the Namibian boundary for that specific reference night, which is now the evening of the 24th to the morning. Addressing the media, President Hagi Gainkop called on citizens to allow the enumerators to enter their residences and cooperate, as the data captured is important for the country's national development. It is the national duty as citizens of Namibia. We must know how many we are so that we can plan properly, provide schools, hospitals, and support. So please, these people are doing their job. They're not there for jokes or to steal from you. So allow them to come in to do their job, as I'm doing here. That's an example. After today, you better open up. First Lady Monica Gainkos used the opportunity to ask if there are plans to conduct the next census through paperless means, such as the use of online platforms, to which Deputy Statistician General Otili Mwazi replied that the NSA will conduct such tests through smaller surveys before considering that for the next census expected to take place in 2033. A population and housing census has many uses. In the first place, it provides the NSA with the total number of persons and housing types and their characteristics in every town or village, constituency or any given area in the country. This information helps central and local governments to plan for various social services such as education, health, housing, sanitation and others. The information derived from the census will also help the private sector, including businesses, to plan their activities, which will be beneficial to the economic development of this country. In addition, international bodies, including development partners and non-governmental organizations, will also utilize the census data when planning for the country. While the President and the First Lady were in New York City on the 24th of September, which was the census reference night, they were still asked about the whereabouts of the family members and security staff who were at their residence in the capital that evening. We need them to count the residents uh, fully aware that uh, the, His Excellency and then the front were not here during the reference night. Then it means that we are still to count the members of the household, those who spend the reference night, and then also with any other services which is provided to the residency, so that if the members Plus also if we have maybe some security cluster who are helping, but they were here also the reference night, we have a specific form for that. Because if they were just on duty, come back in the morning, go back home, those are treated like just like nurses, we count them at all. But if they are probably some of them are stationed here for two, three days, they are not going home until two, three days, those they need to be counted here. Namibia's first couple used the opportunity to commend the NSA for the nationwide enumeration efforts and for the work done by the enumerators who have been on the ground since September to count the population and have faced challenges from, amongst others, farm owners restricting enumerator access. The census ends on the 13th of October, and anyone who has not been counted is urged to contact the NSA as soon as possible to make an appointment.